A general purpose computer should be able to communicate with a wide range of I.O. devices. But the different I.O. devices operate in a different way and also in a different way compared to that of the processor. For example, some devices are electromechanical, some are electromagnetic and the processor is electronic. Also, the data transfer rate for each device is different from that of other devices and almost all devices are slower compared to the processor. Again, the data formats and the word lengths used by each device may be different from each other and also from the processor. So, incorporating the processing logic for every possible kind of I.O. device into the processor is not practical. So instead of connecting the I.O. devices directly to the bus, we use a separate module called I.O. module or I.O. interface between the I.O. devices and the internal storage to bridge this gap between the processor and the different kinds of I.O. devices. The I.O. interface holds the control logic specific to any I.O. device which controls that I.O. device according to its own way of operation. It contains the necessary buffers and the required timing and control circuit to regulate the traffic flow to and from the I.O. devices, hence the speed mismatch due to the difference in data transfer rate between the I.O. system and the internal storage is thus handled. For example, even though the processor can transfer the data at the higher rate compared to that of the I.O. device, we can keep the data from the processor in the buffers and provide it to the device in such a way that it will never become a burden for it. Also, the I.O. module can keep the required communication logic to handle the communication between either sides with necessary data formats and the word length conversions. It keeps the status registers and the error detection logic to check the status of the devices and to detect any error if, if there is any error corresponding to the I.O. device. So as a whole, the I.O. module acts as a bridge or an interface between the internal storage and the I.O. devices and effectively manages the communication between either sides.